Hello, my brothers and sisters. Happy weekend to every one of you out there all over the world. Today, I have a message for my uh, Bini brothers and sisters who were born in the Great Bini Kingdom. I want to talk about uh, a tradition of, uh, of my kingdom to every one of them because some of us doesn't really know much about our tradition from the Great Bini Kingdom. So, uh, today's message is uh, when it comes to sharing of properties in the Great Bini Kingdom. Because these issues has caused a lot of problems to so many homes in Benin, the Great Bini Kingdom, uh, among some brothers and sisters, family members, because they don't really understand some of them don't re really understand the uh, tradition of my land. When it comes to sharing of properties, when our father gives up, when, when they uh, joins their ancestors, when it comes to this uh, sharing of properties, uh, the house where the father we're living belongs to the first son the house where our fathers were buried belongs to the first son what i'm trying to say is a, is this there are some for women they can never give uh the first house not even the first daughter in the family but the house is always giving to the first son this is the tradition of the great Bini kingdom when a father dies, the family members comes to the house of their fathers to now share the properties of their fathers. The house is always given to the first child, even if it was built by the first daughter or the last daughter or the second daughter or the fifth son, that house will be forfeited and be given to the first son. This is the way it is and that's the way it remains. So I want to use this opportunity to give advice to some of our women who lives abroad, who doesn't really understand the system, how it works in our kingdom, in our great kingdom. Some of our ladies, who lives abroad probably their father wasn't having a house his personal house which he built before his uh, death then uh, the daughter may be here abroad and she uh, doesn't want the parents to start paying rents then that goes about they knows how their fathers their mothers has been maltreated uh, in tenants so they want to bring out their parents out of uh, such uh, situations. They now goes out to build a house and lay their father, put their fathers there, their parents there to live, and their parents will be very, very happy. Then they go about praying for their daughter who just built this house for them, even if the name of that building is also entitled to this lady, to some of those ladies. So when they die then they buried after his death they now bury him in that house because uh they don't have any other places which they, they're going to to bury him they don't want to bury in the cemetery because it's the uh, the best thing is always bury uh your parents in your apartment in your house so that their bones and uh their corpse will not be mislead when it is in the cemetery so they not bury the father <clears throat> their fathers in their house which was built by uh, a lady a sister in that uh family so uh to those who doesn't understand the moment you build you build the house and your father was living there and when he died he was buried in that house my sisters 
that house is already fulfilled. That house no longer belongs to you. According to the tradition of the great people of the great Benin kingdom, that house now belongs to your eldest brother, even is even if is from the same mom with you, even if it's not of the same mom with you, that house now automatically belongs to your eldest brothers. So this is the way it is. Uh, Benin tradition can never be changed. It's just the way it is, and they can't change it for anybody. So I'm trying to let our ladies know, if you know you are not a man, and you build a, you built a house and you want to put your parents that's a very great thing and god will bless every one of you who, who who did that for your parents but when your parent when your father died you should never allow them to to bury him in your house all you should do if your eldest brother doesn't have his own house then you should uh and if he doesn't have his own land personal land then you should bury you should buy a land if you know you are financially okay you should buy a land and let them bury your daddy in that land even if you fulfill the land it is not a waste you did something great and your parent, your father will be very proud of you and will bless you also so you should let them buy a land and let them put your dad bury your dad in there then it's better than letting them bury your dad in your own personal house and you know you are a, a a lady even if you are the first lady in the house the first daughter in the family you should never do that because the moment you allow them to bury daddy in your house that means that house automatically becomes the house of your eldest brother. This is the way it is in our Bini kingdom, the great Bini kingdom, and that's the way it remains. Our tradition can never be changed. So, my sisters uh, out there, you have to be very, very conscious of what you're doing, especially when it comes to tradition. If you go about then you have a long way to start fighting. That's going to bring a lot of problems within the families and start it will not generate to your to to the to the cousins, the brothers, the so it's, it's, it's a very big problem. It's better to avoid situations like that and let's have peaks in the family. So as a woman before you do anything in the family from the great Bini kingdom, it's better you seek the advice of elders from your family who knows very much about tradition, the great Bini uh, tradition and customs, so that you will not make any mistake in whatever you're doing that's going to lead you into pains and traumas. So as a Bini woman, you should know some of those traditional our uh, customs in our in in, in our uh, kingdom so i now decided i just felt i have to bring this message uh on grand soda people uh people from my great Bini, uh kingdom we understand some of the rules of our uh, tradition so this is it that's the way it is my sisters so please uh, you if i'm not saying you shouldn't help your parents you have to always help them but when it comes to burying daddy in your apartment in your house because you think uh, daddy doesn't have a house of his own so you have to get a land if your eldest brother have a land so your daddy should be buried in that house uh, on his land not in your house as the eldest daughter or as the second or the third daughter because maybe you may be the only one who has a house and the rest doesn't have so you should never make the mistake of allowing them to bury your daddy in your house because you are not the eldest son even if you are the eldest daughter that house doesn't belong to you so or oh, i've never seen it being a father that that has uh, uh giving out his house to his uh to his daughters the only thing uh, in our land, if the daddy has his own house and he says this house, he told his family members that this house, when he dies, this house should be given to so so and so child, then that's how the house will be given to whom he has uh, uh, told, uh, who he has told his family members 
to give that house to. That's the only way anybody can own that house, even if that person is not the first son. And our uh, elders in every of the Benin uh, uh, family from the great Benin kingdom, they never do what they were told. If their bro late brother tells, tells them, oh, you have to do this, this is how I want my property, my properties to be shared, that's how they are going to do. They will follow his rules, they will follow his laws, the, 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 the message he laid on ground for them. That's what they're going to do. They will never do what they want. If not, they will have a generational cause. So they all know the rules. They know the tradition. So they don't do that and they don't do things that we are told when their brother, because there are some fathers, they, they always uh, tell their, their family members how they want their properties to be shared and before their death. And the family members always goes with what they were told by the diseased. So that's how, even if you are a woman, you are a female, that's how some of those things will get to you. But <clears throat> if daddy never says those things, nobody has the right to uh, give that house to the first daughter. Even there, I've never seen a, uh, a benign man that has ever told his family to give out his house, his first his house where he was where he's buried to any of his daughters. He may give, he may he may not want to give the house to the eldest son. He may not tell them you have to give it to the second son. You have to give it give it to the third son. It depends on who he wants to give it to, and that law will be always respected by his family members. That's the way it is. So as females. You don't, you, uh, you, you don't have to make certain mistakes that's going to cost a lot of people, uh, tears and pains to you. Then also it will affect your children. So please, we should always be careful because as women in the Benin Kingdom, we have our limits. We, there, are, there are some things we can do. There are some things we cannot also do. So I tried to bring this lesson to every one of my Benin people from the great Benin kingdom. So we are, we are all learning. We should learn and we should know things that are right for us and things that are not right for us. Thank you very, very much, my brothers and sisters all over the world. Thank you. God bless you all. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am your sister, Queen Divine. Bye. Happy weekend to every one of you. Bye. I love you all. Bye.